I will go over a couple of examples here to um, explain to you how weighted mean works and how to think about it. And the, the two examples that I'm going to use will be a little bit different in, uh, in a few different ways. And uh, hopefully this will give you a good understanding of how it all works and what you need to do to work it out. Or even if you have to work backwards. Okay, so I'm going to write um, a calculation for you that maybe you can use to go backwards. So we've got weighted mean takes into account different proportions if data is organized in different groups. Okay, and here's our first example. The overall score in a test is worked out from the percentage score in three test papers. Okay, so the overall score in the test is worked out from the percentage score in three test papers. And here we have paper one, paper two, and paper three, and they have different weightings. So paper one and paper two have a weighting of 40 each, and paper three has a weighting of 20 each. Now, all of these papers can be out of 100, for example. Okay, so for example, in paper one, someone might have scored um, 72 out of 100. Okay, in paper two, uh, someone might have scored uh, maybe 80 out of 100, and in paper three, someone might have scored 95 out of 100. Now, maybe paper three is a little bit easier. Okay, and that's why it's easy to score 95, and it has a lower weighting for that. Okay, so students need to do well in paper one and paper two in order to get a good overall score. So what you can do to find this, uh, this student's score or, or overall score in the test is to work out a weighted mean for these scores here. Okay, so 72 has a weighting of 40, 80 has a weighting of 40, the 95 has a weighting of 20, and this is all out of 100. Okay, so the calculation you're going to do is 72 times 40, add that to 80 times 40, and then add that to 95 times 20, and divide all of this by the total weighting, okay? So total weighting is all of this, so here I have, this is out of 100, okay? So you're going to divide that by 100. Now this will give you some value here. Now be prepared to work backwards as well. So for example, if the, uh, the weighted mean is given to you here, or the weighted overall score is given to you, um, are you able to find, for example, this number 95 here? What would you have to do? So you would have to maybe rearrange this equation. So times by 100, then subtract these bits here, and then maybe divide by the 20, and that will uh, get this 95 out for you. So be prepared to work backwards as well. So here I have another example, and in this example I'm saying a company requires three types of roles for which it needs a different number of workers. Each role is paid a different amount. Okay, so I've tried to sort of abstract the main idea, so I didn't really say an example of what the role might be. I'm just saying role one, role two, and role three. Okay, now role one I'm saying requires 30 workers, so it's a different number of workers. Role two, uh, let's say they require 10 workers like this, and two workers at role three. Now, we said that each role is paid a different amount, so let's just make some numbers out. So uh, let's actually go for maybe around 30,000 here. Okay, so 30,000 per year. So this annual salary I'm saying, and the next one let's say is 40,000 a year. And the last one here is 50,000 a year. Okay, so these are the different amounts that uh, the different workers will get paid. Now, if we wanted to work out a, an average for average salary for this company, we would need to work out the weighted mean. Let's think about working backwards. So remember we said 50,000 here. Imagine this number is something else or we don't know what it is. So let's say it might be X. So it might be X here. So what would the weighted mean be in this case? So in weighted mean would be worked out using 30,000 times by 30, because there's 30 workers, 30 workers earning 30,000, 10 workers to 40,000, so 40,000 times 10. So add to that 40,000 times 10, and add to that two workers at X number of pounds. So two workers at X number of pounds, that's 2X, and divide all of this by 42, because 30 add 10 add 2 is 42. So there's 42 workers altogether. Now, suppose we knew what the average salary was. Let's say that the average salary is actually uh, 42,000. OK, 
Okay, so 42,000 is the average salary. Now, so, or the weighted mean for, the, for their salaries is 42,000. So, um, how can I find what these two workers are earning? What I could do is this 42,000 multiplied by this 42. Then I could subtract this 30,000 30, times 30, and it will uh, uh, come on that side. I can subtract the 40,000 times 10, and then I'll be left with 2x on this side. And finally, I would have to just divide the value that I have here by 2 to get the value of x. So remember, if you want to find this value, you just work backwards, rearrange this equation to make x a subject. Okay, so that's the way to think about that. So the key ideas are that there are different proportions, okay, so weighted mean takes into account different proportions if data is organized in different groups, okay. So we've got different groups here, uh, 30, 10, and 2, and then we've got the, uh, how much they earn, so different proportions here, and this takes into account all of that and gives you a nice average.